Hi everyone, I am Noelle with Noelle Rollins Art. So this is gonna be a quick video about how can you make money right now with your artwork. So whether you are just starting out or an experienced artwork or artist going through kind of a slump, here's what I found works when I need money ASAP. So first thing is find the lowest hanging fruit. What is the easiest thing for you to create and sell? This might be something that you already have a connection to. This might be something that a group around you um, has expressed a demand for. Maybe you work a lot with athletes and sports teams and there's something you could do like, years ago I did volleyball, basketball prints and paintings and I customized their names on them, things like that. Sometimes there's just quick money that could come in. Um, the other thing is as much as possible, start to put things in place to where it's longer term solutions and they will balance out these short terms because you want as much as you can. Sometimes you just need to go for the quick money, but there's not a way to live. It's too exhausting to be in this mode all the time. So set up some systems, whether that's a website where you have things listed for sale that can be selling any time of day, whether it's an Etsy site, a Shopify, um, fine art America society, like all of these things that people use, pick a couple and then start adding your images to them. And that can help give you some sort of a, a background of possibilities while you're working on these things. Share your links to your, your product. People have to have a way to buy it. So for instance, if I am going to sell, let's say fall is coming, which means um, people are going to start thinking about Christmas presents. And I say, you know what, you guys, I need some quick cash. So I'm going to sell a batch of these prints. I only have 20 available. They're 20 bucks a piece. Message me if you want one. That's one way, quick, easy, boom. Venmo me at this first 20 of you, get them. And I'll even sign them for you. Something like that. Um, another thing is share the link for them and talk about why you want to sell them, what the, what the selling points are and don't talk about yourself. Talk about, you may want to mention that you're doing a flash sale or that you're doing a batch of these, but then switch it to why they would want it. Talk about it from their angle. You're going to be wanting Christmas presents soon and these People are loving these bird prints. They will be a hit at Christmas. You'll be so glad you got them now and they're cheaper than they'll be if you order them at Christmas time. You'll have them all ready. You know, talk about all the benefits to them. Another thing is try not to do one of each thing. If you can do something like I just said, a batch of five that you have ready to go, ready to ship. That way you're writing up all of the descriptions, listing it, photographing it, doing all that one time. And there's just multiple quantities. You can put all of your energy then into marketing that instead of creating all of that for every different piece. Find the easiest way you can to get that to the people. That's my advice. Um, there were years ago, and I don't even know if this is still allowed, but. <laughs> where we would go set up at the car dealership. We got permission and we'd set up in their lobby for all the employees and we would sell gift baskets and things. And these guys would swoop them up, me and my sister-in-law then, and we'd come home with hundreds of dollars and we'd go, okay, we need money coming up. We'd go put together all these things and we'd go sell and they just sell like crazy. Now times might be different now and that might not even be allowed, but something like that that's just out of your comfort zone that you can go where the people are whether that's a summer, fall, winter craft show, art show, um, something within a group of people, make up a flyer, hand it out to the parents at an event. Hey, you guys, I'm doing custom um, sports prints with your kids' names on them. They're normally 150. For you guys, I'm gonna do uh, the first 10 of you that do it, it'll be 75 bucks, something like that. Boom, $750 coming your way. Think in terms of, what people need, what you can do relatively easily or what you already have in stock and find a way to connect them. 
be really clear on your marketing material, like your description, how you describe it. And then if you don't have a website already, you don't have any of that, then put together a flyer, put together something that you can give someone, a postcard. Um, there is times I have hand drawn and hand painted postcards because I literally couldn't even afford to order a batch of postcards. So every postcard had a sunflower painted on one side and handwritten all about my open house I was doing to sell art. And people came and they bought stuff. So like, I can't imagine doing that now, but at the time it worked. So don't be um, too above some of that kind of stuff. Um, but also like own your value. You don't wanna, you know, we all know the person who's always struggling and they're like, oh, I need money, my rent's due, can you buy something? Like I have people like that that I follow that are always asking, and yes, people do buy, but, and maybe you have to do that once or twice. Um, I hope for your sake you don't. But then do the other stuff I said, start setting up. Use that as a motivator to start setting up some systems behind the scenes. And if all else fails, let's be honest, go get a part-time job, get some cash coming in your door, and then start setting up these systems. If you need to do what you need to do so that you're not living on the street or starving or your kids are starving, you do what you have to do. So you go get another job, go work at a restaurant, go work wherever, and people are hiring like crazy right now. And take that pressure off your creative business if you need to. If you've tried these things and it just doesn't seem like it's clicking, the pressure just might be too high. Go work at a temp agency for a little while and get some fast cash coming in to just ease the stress. And then start working on, you know, getting an Etsy shop set up, a website, something. And then promote it like crazy. That's my advice to you. Low-hanging fruit, what's easiest for you, what the people want, connect those. Use the right verbiage for the price level you're selling things at and don't overcomplicate it. If you don't have a website, don't sit and spend three weeks making a website. Put a flyer together, take a photocopy, take a photo of it and print 10 photos off and hand those out and say, this is what I'm selling. You know, whatever you gotta do. So share if you've had to do something like this before and what you've done to get fast cash in. I'd love to hear because I know there's endless options that I'm not even thinking of. Um, and it's not a fun place to be in when you're in it. You're panicked and you're not thinking clear and you're stressed out and you feel like garbage. Um, so hopefully when you're in a more abundant mindset and you can put together, you know, plans in place to prevent you from ever having to feel in that position, that's the ideal. But I know things don't always happen that way. So, yes. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Share your comments below. Um, watch my other how-to videos and all about behind the scenes of being an artist. I'm sharing all kinds of things I've learned um, after being an artist for 25 years and what's worked for me, what's changed since my last set of videos and where I'm headed. So thanks for being here. All right. Bye.